Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Baseball in Life. This is my one of my brand new shows on the Nine Any Know It All podcast channel, and you know this is really just an opportunity for me to voice my feelings, my emotions, and different things like that. For some of you, this will really resonate, and for others of you, it may not resonate at all, and that's fine because honestly, this is really kind of my own personal therapy session that you guys just get to listen into, and you know what. Maybe I'll help someone out work through something and maybe not. And either way, once again, this is my own personal therapy session dealing with things related to baseball. And you know what? If you enjoy it, awesome. If you don't, I kind of enjoy it. I like getting things off my chest. Baseball left me. You know, I was in shock. I was in disbelief. It just consumed me, you know, when everything went down last year. It, it was a nightmare but I realized that the pain was real. And although I felt alone in that moment, I knew I wasn't the only one that baseball had left. Fans, players, coaches all over the country were united in a grief that no one had expected. Now, I know a lot of people say, hey, it's just a game, get over it. But baseball has never been just a game for me. And I know that for countless others out there, Baseball has never been just a game for them either. It's been something more. It's been something that has truly changed and impacted their life. Maybe it's directing them to work harder. Maybe it's the focus. Maybe it's the relationships it's built. Baseball has never been just a game for me. Now, this wasn't the first time that baseball had left me. I grew up listening to games all summer long on the radio at night in my bed. I would listen to Dave Niehaus every night when I was growing up. That ended in 1994 when baseball left me. When the Major League Baseball strike happened, it changed everything for me. Baseball left me. It just left me behind. It ignored me. It forgot me. I was a fan who was meaningless to the game of baseball. And to be honest with you, 1994 was the last time I sat and listened to a game on the radio at night. I haven't done it since. Baseball left me. It hurt. So when all of this started happening again last year, all those feelings kind of came back. Baseball had left me before, and here it was leaving me again. For months, I sat on my couch trying to do whatever I could to hold on to baseball. I would do anything. I did the podcast. I would write articles just trying to hold on to baseball because baseball was walking away from me. But then over time, I realized Nothing I did could bring baseball back. But then I also realized it wasn't baseball that was leaving me. Baseball was being ripped from me. It was being stolen from my grasp. Baseball didn't have a choice on this one. Baseball was being taken away. And when I came to that realization, that's actually when I was impacted the most. That the thing I loved was being taken away from me. Now, we all know the circumstances. We all know the situation that happened last year. Regardless of what your thoughts are, your opinions are, baseball for many of us in this country was taken away. And it hurt. And it really was a nightmare for many of us. For many of us who do sports-related jobs, whether it be photography or writing articles or working for minor league baseball teams or summer collegiate teams, it impacted us in significant ways. Baseball had walked away from us, but it wasn't baseball's fault. Baseball wasn't trying to walk away from the fans. It wasn't trying to walk away from the players. It wasn't trying to walk away from the coaches. It just was. It was gone. One day it was there. The next it was gone. And for me to realize all that's gone on, to realize where we're at today, where baseball has come back, baseball has returned and it has done so in a way that is amazing. It is still a challenge in some parts of this country to get a baseball game put together. It is still a challenge for a lot of teams to be able to go out and practice. But baseball is finding a way. And the reason for that is because baseball is more than a game. Baseball isn't just a sport. It is something that truly impacts lives. I know because, once again, I've been impacted by baseball. I grew up playing baseball. 
I've watched it all my life. I've covered it for years now, for over a decade, I've covered baseball. It can change lives. It can impact lives. It can bring people together who never would have been brought together in the past. I've met amazing people through baseball and I'm excited that baseball is back, but I'm always worried that baseball will walk away from me again. You always hear the talk of major league baseball and the different negotiations and the labor strife and all these different things. Baseball has walked away from the fans before. And if it does it again, it's going to hurt the game in tremendous ways. But I will say this. With baseball being back, we as fans, we as coaches, we as players need to make sure that we build the foundation of the game as best we can. We need to get the younger generation excited for the game again. We need to get that younger generation staying up at night, listening to the radio as ball games are being played, whether it's the local summer collegiate league team on the local radio station or a major league team or a minor league team. Whatever it is, we need to get that excitement built back up because 2020 took a lot of that excitement away. A lot of kids lost out on playing rec league and little league and Babe Ruth. A lot of kids lost out on that excitement. And we as fans need to build it back up. We as parents and, and coaches need to build it back up because this game is too important to let it walk away again. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, thank you so much for listening to Baseball in Life. This is my new podcast episode, the new show. It really is just my chance to, to have a therapy session and get things off my chest. I hope someone out there hears this and says, I can relate to that. I understand where you're coming from. You know what? If not, at least I was able to say my piece. But guys, I am Josh. Thank you so much for t tuning in. Until next time.